it's just so many games, brother, that I, you know, I don't, you know, you, you, let's just say I fuck with y'all because y'all be, you know, a lot of shit y'all, I like how y'all do it. You're like, hey, this is out there. Uh, what do you think? <laughs> 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 you guys are like, <laughs> and what's funny is, I don't. I was trying to figure out why is everybody scared of Jay Z to say something about Jay Z. Like, why the fuck? What, he, you know, why? we never met him. Shit, I don't know. And the greatest rapper of all time, I, in my opinion, he'd always be the greatest fucking rapper of all time to me. But that doesn't mean no, I, I, I would definitely disagree with that. One. Let's talk about. I it. like Jay Z. I, I I like him as a guy, mm. and the and the whole Eric thing he created about this fake dope dealing. I, that's when I stopped mm. disliking him. Like. Thing ain't ever saw no cocaine in his fuck. I don't think he ever won a fight. I'm like, this nigga has never sold cocaine ever, because you know why? He keeps telling all these stories about how he did this and did this, but there's no stories of of the other side of selling cocaine, nigga. There's another side. Hmm. Somebody gonna bust you? Somebody? Nobody ever sold you pancake? It was always Miami Vice. All this shit sounded like Miami Vice to me. Like, uh, this sounds like this episode of Miami Vice. <laughs> then he was, he always quotes Squaw Scarface and shit. Scarface? Mm. Anybody who's so dope in the 80s know, especially now, it wasn't no man Scarface that was doing it. It was a woman. Yeah. Giselle, right? Blanco, something like that? Yes. Yeah. Getting busy. Not no white guy. Okay, fuck. Why? Why is that your guy? That's that. You know what I'm saying? If you so, if, there was there was real niggas around that era. Fat cat. You know, that was really doing it. Alpo. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Anyway. I was like, this nigga's never. I was, but I, I, I like the guy. I can tell he's a nice guy. I mean, his business dealings are whatever. But I'm like, why is he telling these kids he's so dope? Oh, it's an image. Then I figured out all, all this shit is fake. Oh, okay, but you can tell he's never. He don't know the dope game. I mean, the people he around may. Uh, that, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But he ain't. I was like, this nigga, I don't think this nigga ever beat a nigga's ass in the streets with his hands. Mm. So they, these kids don't know that. They just know. Like you said, he's the best ever. I said, I think LL will bust his ass. Mm. Hit for hit. LL Cool J and Jay Z. LL will bust that nigga's ass. But I still like him. I, I like Jay Z. I know it sounds crazy, but that's why we got you on here, brother. We want to hear some shit different. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. No, I'm gonna tell you the truth. I mean, I'm just like, yeah, this nigga. I mean, when he used to come to LA, they used to take the nigga's chain. I'm like, when was the gangster shit then? You take his cane, you said? <laughs> it was his chain. Oh, his chain. <laughs> yeah, it would be a bounty for his chain. I'm like, yo. So who's chain? Jay Z. Oh, really? Wow. Mm. How the fuck is somebody take somebody? I want like oh, never mind. I don't even want no, never mind. Hey, what? Never mind. I ain't even gonna ask. I ain't even gonna ask. Never mind. <laughs> they just got his chain. Got it. Man, man. Well, speak Tupac. A few years ago, it was a video. I don't know if I know you, you did the video, but it was posted here on this channel. All like it was over the internet. You went kind of viral for what you said about Tupac and Snoop. And I think you were saying something along the line that Snoop could have prevented Tupac's death. You remember that? Yeah. It. it yeah. Okay. Yeah. What I was saying, a lot of people don't understand how the gang culture is. Like New York got it fucked up. Like you can let me tell you something. You can't go to jail and join a gang. All right. That's what you can't do. In California, you have to be from that street. When you go to jail, you got that's they what they do, they classify you. Where you from? I'm from yo, so I'm from San Diego, Southeast San Diego. Old memory lane, whoop, whoop, and you, they classify you and they put you with the bloods. Mm. When you go to jail, they classify you. Okay. I'm a blood. This is, you know, old memory lane, upside, uptown, Emerald Hills, 
Okay, they're gonna put you with them niggas. You can't go there and then join these niggas and they kick you in. No, nigga, no. You have to put on work in the streets. Okay. Mm-hmm. Tupac didn't know the gang culture. But it was nothing but gang members around him. Mm-hmm. Snoop was a real crip. Mm-hmm. Nothing but real crips around this nigga. So when I said that, Snoop could have, you can tell Snoop telling him, I said Snoop was fighting a murder case. Mm-hmm. When Snoop was fighting a murder case, Pac was coming out. So Snoop was like, nigga, chill. Mm-hmm. You made it, nigga. Chill. You can tell it. Because Snoop, Snoop was like, yo, nigga, I beat this murder case. I'm not going, I'm not going through that shit again. But Pac attached himself to the bloods. And it's like, okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I see, you know, I see it. Okay, okay. And Snoop's like, nigga. <laughs> okay, watch yourself, Pop. It ain't, this ain't, this, you know. And that's, if he, if Pop would have listened <laughs> to Snoop, because Pac, you know, on on any 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 day, Pac, you know, he you know he he gonna cuss you out or he gonna he gonna fill you with nothing but love. Mm-hmm. So if 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 he ain't fucking with Snoop that day or whatever or whatever it is, it's gonna be it's gonna be an argument. If if he felt that you was betraying him, that's it. Mm-hmm. So even him and his brother Mo Prime was you know they was going through it at one point. So that's what I was saying was like Snoop was really like, hey nigga, lay off that shit. Nigga, we we didn't we here, nigga. We, it's a bitch is around. It's, we make your money. We the we the number one. And Pac was like, no, fuck that. Whatever happened in New York, because I wasn't there for that shit. It, it, that nigga was scorned. Fuck them niggas. First time I ever heard fuck Jay Z was out of two. I didn't even know who Jay Z was. I was like, We we think about people accusing uh like Diddy and people like that have something to do with it. With the whole East Coast I, 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 I really don't I I don't I, I can't speak on that. Cause I don't you know, I, I met Diddy afterwards. Mm-hmm. And, um I don't you know, I don't know I don't I, I really can't speak on it. I knew Snoop and I knew you know, I knew uh Pac. I knew Pac I first met Pop with um M- when he got that tattoo uh, him and uh, MC Bree was on Sunset mm-hmm. and uh that's how you know and, you know Pop was always around so we we just you know we nobody had no money so we'd all hang out go get some weed find out who had the weed who got the chicken mm-hmm. so um uh yeah then you know we, we you know then Snoop uh. I knew Snoop through just you know just Ricky Harris. I mean, it's kind of weird because <laughs> rest in peace. Uh, uh, they would come to the comedy club. You they you, you didn't even you wouldn't even know. They you know, you know what I'm saying they'd be in a uh, crowd or they'd be at the comedy store. We used to stay at the comedy store every Mondays and, and everybody was up there. Uh, you know, but yeah, I think Pac would have been. Around if if he would have just sit back and listen to Snoop, you know Snoop was like, man, shit, man, we we win it. Mm-hmm. This 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 other bullshit, dude. I think mean, I, if you come up in the gang, but see, gang banging now ain't what like it used to be when we came up. You know what I'm saying? It was real in the streets, like you know, you know, um, it was it, it was a cold to it. Believe it or not, it's still a cold to it. But back then it was a real code. Like you couldn't just like this six nine nigga. Where he would he would, oh my god. Mm. That's just, but I get what he. I understand who he is now. I get it now. It's just all uh. It's just so we can we can be talking about it right now. We can be 
on here talking. I get it. I get it. I was like, oh, it's just. But I was hearing niggas from New York talking about they went to jail and became a blood. I was like, eh, that's wrong. Talk about 